it's Jessica from Peace Love Books and Shame here with a romance recommendation video that I did almost exactly a year ago and it is one of my absolute favorite tropes so I'm going to list that video down below if you want to check out the first time I did this but it is romances where the other character is off limits where they are dating someone else engaged to someone else and they are not allowed to be with another person but that does not stop the love interest from wanting them and they are going to end up together so my favorite is when they're engaged to someone else like the angst and tension in there especially if it's to a sibling I know I'm toxic, but I love it. So I have a whole list here of books that they are dating someone else or in a relationship with someone else and they fall in love with someone else. So I like the mess. I like the drama. There might be cheating in these, so know that going in, but I'm gonna go ahead and get to the recommendations. So the first one is actually the sequel to one that also has a trope that I'm not gonna talk about, which is Waking Olivia. I love Waking Olivia, but I talk about it too much, so I'm not putting it on here, but we have Drowning Aaron. So Aaron is the best friend of Olivia and it's after college, and so Aaron is engaged to someone, but he is like super wealthy and successful and just like everything she wanted in a relationship so she feels like she's just like checking boxes but she's not really that in love with him and so they're engaged but they've been engaged for a year and she has not even started planning the wedding so she's like mm. and so his best friend has been in love with her since before she started dating her boyfriend so the romance is between her and that guy her fiance ends up going on a trip and is gone for a while and she starts hanging out with his friend and obviously she doesn't want things to happen and he is very hesitant though because he was really messed up over a relationship he had we do a flashback to when that relationship was happening and why he doesn't want to be in a relationship or want to trust someone or have someone that falls in love with him because of what happened in his last relationship but it was really good he is just trying to uh, ignore the fact that he really likes her because he's like I've liked you since we met and then you started dating my best friend which like is one of my favorite tropes too like oh give me the best friend's girlfriend romance I will eat that up but overall I really like this one definitely super angsty Angst comes with this trope, so check this one out, especially if you loved Waking Olivia. I do have two Macaulay Smelter. She writes the best for Ben romances. We have Bad Boys Break Hearts. This one's a best friend's girlfriend romance, and so the hero and the heroine actually have a past. They grew up together and were close friends, but then one of their families, the dad did something bad. I think it was her family, so her dad did something that really ruined their reputations. She, they lost all their money, and so she's growing up with her mom, and her mom didn't really take good care of her because her mom was just dealing with like her life falling apart. So what happens is she goes to college, and and they're reunited and he is so angry and mean to her and I think he plays baseball and his best friend sets his eyes on her and is like I really like her and they start dating but he is angry because he really still likes her so his best friend is dating this girl from his past that he keeps on pushing away because he says he hates her but then they do spend some holidays together and it's super cute she goes home with him for I think it was Thanksgiving or something and reunites with his family his mom is super sweet and it's a really good romance I really liked it he's definitely a bad boy and is moving in on his best friend's girlfriend the other one I have is The Confidence of Wildflowers, which is a neighbor age gap single dad romance. The heroine just graduated from high school and she's still dating her boyfriend. They have plans for their future and then she sees a single dad move in next door and he is into like landscaping and stuff and they start spending time together and she starts falling for him. Very forbidden. Definitely trigger warnings in here though for death of a family member, cancer, and more. Check out Goodreads because I think I list more on my Goodreads review but I really loved the angst and the tension in here and it was just so addicting. Like it wasn't like the most creative story or the most like mature story because she's 18 she definitely felt very immature but I literally cannot put this book down I was obsessed with her story it ends on a cliffhanger and I've heard book two is not as good especially because of the cliffhanger but I still want to read it at some point but if you really like a hero who's very grumpy and pushes her away but he's also so sweet and there for her and does really sweet things for her check this one out definitely forbidden and taboo and she has a boyfriend the whole time then one I recently read and I cannot stop talking about and I apologize but like I'm obsessed is Close Quarters by Candy Steiner the heroine is dating someone at the beginning of this book it's her longtime boyfriend from college it's the summer after they graduate college and she's a photographer she wants to take photography around Europe her and her boyfriend arrive at his yacht that he is working on he's a yachty and they meet the owner of the yacht who is Theo who is a billionaire who is like 12 years older than her too so it is an age gap and Theo is like why don't you stay with your boyfriend and take photos for the yacht because he's actually really intrigued by her and there is an undeniable 
attraction between them and she starts spending some more time with him, especially with her photography. And he is someone who really supports her photography and her dream and wants her to just have more out of life than what she currently has. But she's still holding on to her boyfriend because it's what's comfortable to her and what she's always known, even though her boyfriend isn't really the person that she likes when he is in the yachting industry because he parties all the time and that's not really what she's into. So they are starting to clash, but there is cheating in here. Please know that, but it was so good. I loved Theo so much and how much he just wanted her and wasn't afraid to tell her and he's literally an older billionaire like age gaps with billionaires are my candy I love this you should read it, it takes place on a yacht it's super fun I loved it. Then I have What Hassan Wants by Danielle Allen. Danielle Allen is one of my favorites. I love her. Now this one is off limits, not because she's dating someone else, because his best friend is like, that's the love of my life. His best friend is friends, not his best friend, it's his, his close friend is friends with the heroine. And Hassan meets this girl at a bar. He's supposed to meet up with his friend and he gets stood up by his friend. And so he meets this girl who's working there. They hit it off so well that they end up hooking up. And he is like, this girl is like my dream girl. She is amazing. And so then his friend ends up showing up and is like, oh, hey, you met my girl. Like, that's the girl I'm going to marry one day. Like, I love her, even though they're not together. And so the heroine is really annoyed, though, because she was like, no one can stake a claim on me. We're not dating. That has nothing to do with our relationship. So she is like putting down the law that it doesn't matter. But Hassan doesn't want to betray his friend. And so he's in the sticky situation where like, oh, my friend really likes you. But like, I really like you. And so does he betray his, one of his few friends he has in town? Or does he go after what he wants? Daniel Allen writes the best spice ever. Like, this book was so spicy and I loved it. I love her. This book was fun. Please check it out. These last two I kept till the end because they're ones that I've talked about nonstop this year, but I haven't done this video in a year, so I can include these. Parallel by Elizabeth O'Rourke is a time-traveling romance where they are literal soulmates, but the heroine is engaged to someone else. So the heroine's engaged, planning her wedding. She's always dreamed, though, of this guy that's her husband and her parents are like, well, even when she was little, she's like, Nick's my husband. And they're like, you need help. So they do get her some help and she sees a therapist and she stops dreaming about him. But now she is like in her 20s. She's engaged, planning her wedding. She has visions again of this life that she never had, married to this guy, the love of her life. And she ends up meeting him in the hospital when she gets a concussion, I think. And he's her doctor. And they see each other. There's an instant connection. Like they know each other. She knows all these things about him that are true, even though they never met. And so Nick, is like I like you and he is dating someone but it's not that serious but she's engaged and so this is definitely a no-no relationship but that doesn't stop them from spending time together trying to figure out this time traveling thing so highly recommend definitely angsty because of that aspect and the last one I have is Still Beating by Jennifer Hartman this is a sister's fiance romance Listen, I have a brother and a sister. I would never, ever, ever, ever condone this in real life. Like, that is awful. I would, like, could not even fathom doing that to my sister. But, like, when it's in a romance book, give that trope to me. I'm obsessed. So her sister is engaged this guy. They've been engaged for a while. She knew him in high school. So, like, they've grown up together. And now they're in their 20s. Her sister's finally engaged to him. And she gets kidnapped with him. They hate each other. They have this thing where they always banter, bicker, pull pranks on each other, but then they get kidnapped together, have to do unspeakable things with each other, and unspeakable things are done to her while he watches, and they finally escape together. And so it's their romance, recovering from what had happened to them, trying to get back into society again, and adapt to normal life with people not understanding what they went through, but they're the only ones who understand. So they form a bond, and they fall in love, and I am obsessed. Like, I already need to reread this. I'd love to reread it physically and annotate it. I get to see Jennifer Hartman at the end of this week. I don't know when I'm putting this video up, but I'm seeing her at Vegas, love in Vegas, at the end of the month, and I am gonna squeeze the heck out of her because I'm so excited to see her. Her books are my favorite. She's my favorite ever, and this book is so special to me and one of my favorites of all time. So read this if you haven't yet. It has my favorite trope. It's so good. And those are some romances where the love interest is off limits, whether they're dating them, engaged, just casually dating them, but no matter how serious the relationship is, it is my favorite trope ever. I love seeing the angst there because the person doesn't want to break up with the other person, but they're falling in love with someone else, and things get messy, and the messier the better for me when in my romances, so I loved it. Let me know if you have any other recommendations for this trope. I know QB Tyler's new book has an engaged heroine, and it's going to be so good. I'm so excited. Her book comes out in November. It's going to be amazing, but definitely check these books out and let me know your recommendations, and that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.